we will focus on Unity 84 sequenced. This looks scary. This looks scary. The home screen looks confusing the first time you see it. There are many keys, the icons are unfamiliar, and there's no text on most keys. The majority of the screen is the core section, everything but the top row. Access to core words is prioritised because they make up at least 80% of what we say. So if we can get to them with few keystrokes, communication will be more efficient. The icons in this section are not a symbol set you recognise because they are multi-meaning icons. There is no text on most of them because they don't have a single meaning. Look at the apple as an example. What concepts come to mind when you see this symbol? Perhaps fruit, food, eating? Maybe other words like hungry, crunchy, red. The primary iconicity may be apple, but there are many secondary associations we can make easily and naturally. Think about the meanings you associate with other icons like the bed or the sun. These icons are going to be the first in our sequence. You can sequence the apple icon with the green action man to say the word eat. You can combine the bed and the action man to say sleep and the sun and the action man to say like. To produce a core word in Unity, first select one of the multi-meaning icons and then a second icon to give it meaning. Sequencing the action man who has a hammer and a bucket because he's doing things after another multi-meaning icon is how we produce verbs or doing words in Unity. You can also say different forms of the verb, all available in a consistent position based on tense. This allows you to add the correct morphology Eating. without additional keystrokes. You are also provided with the correct form of the verb. You don't have to figure out whether you should add ed to eat. The irregular eight, eight. is already programmed, which is handy as most high frequency verbs in English tend to be irregular. Other parts of speech work in a similar way. The pattern for adjectives describing words ends with the blue paintbrush key. You could remember this since the paintbrush is associated with colour, or that a picture paints a thousand words. You can begin with the apple to say hungry, hungry. the bed to say tired, tired, or the sun to say funny. funny. Category nouns are in orange. Old Mother Hubbard is looking in her cupboard at all of her things. For example, you can follow the same icon sequence to say food, food. Furniture, furniture, or fun. These words have all been two hit sequences, or you could visualize them as a second layer. Some words are three keystrokes away. These are lower frequency core words, but are positioned so they use the correct pattern and are associated with the same multi-meaning icons, though an extra icon is inserted into the middle of the sequence. For example, eat is two keystrokes because it's high frequency, but by selecting the apple, then the dog, then the action man, I can say bite, bite because dogs bite. By selecting apple, ear, action man, I can say crunch because you can hear someone eating a crunchy apple. Capital letters indicate that a key will take you to a three hit word like feed. feed. You will have noticed that after you say a word, you come directly back to the home screen. This significantly reduces navigation and reorients us in preparation for the next word. It will also save the device user many wasted keystrokes. Each core icon sequence is unique to that word. Once you've learned it, you won't need to learn to say it a different way in a different context. Think back to the keyboard activity we did. Keeping these multi-meaning icons in consistent positions and giving each core word a short and unique icon sequence allows the user to more easily develop a specific motor plan for each word. Motor planning allows automaticity and speed to develop as reliance on searching for a particular symbol lessens. The consistency of icons through their key colours and static positioning also means you know exactly where you're headed for the next icon in the sequence before the screen changes, rather than having to visually reorient with each screen change. Other parts of speech have similarly consistent patterns. Pronouns are in yellow. Subject pronouns such as I, I. You, you and it, it are produced with a double hit of the same icon. If you combine the pronoun icons, you can find other pronouns such as me, me. My, my, mine, mine. and myself. myself. You can also produce pronoun phrases quickly, such as I like, 
I like. You like. You like. Or I can reverse the pattern to say, do I like? Do I like. Do you like? Do you like. Pronouns are very common in our everyday language, so quick access to these is important. There are some single hit words in Unity sequenced vocabularies. These are the icons with lowercase text. I can say are, are is, is, were, was, on, to, an, the, a, or add the plural s with one hit. These are one hit because they're very high frequency. Finally, the top row is different to the core section. This is called the activity row and is where you find many device tools, as well as some pre-stored phrases for greetings, What's up? or for personal information. Capital letters indicate that this is an activity or a folder rather than a button that says a word on its own. The activity row is also where fringe vocabulary or nouns branch from. For example, to find food related nouns, select apple, then choose a category folder from the top row. These folders take you to a page of fringe words with lots of blank space to add your own personalized nouns over time. As we know, nouns are easier to represent in symbol form than core words and are used with lower frequency, so a user can more easily rely on identifying the symbol to find a word they want, even if they've not yet developed an automatic motor plan. Strawberry. Parts of speech such as interjections, determiners, conjunctions, prepositions, question words and adverbs also have their own positions. After watching this, use the Unity Quick Reference Guide along with the New Voice Pass software to explore these patterns and to get familiar with some of the patterns that we've just explored. By this stage, you might be thinking... How do I? Word. How do I find a word? Neither the communication partner nor the person using the device can be expected to know where all the words are initially as a learning process is involved. Fortunately, there are a wide range of built-in tools to help learn about the device. The most important is Word Finder, accessed via the keyboard. In Word Finder, type the word you want to find, press OK, and the icon sequence will appear. Return to the home screen to produce the word and practice the sequence. Red. Red. 